Hello Cancer, this is your April monthly reading and there will be an extended at the end if you would like to purchase it or you can become a member on Patreon and get all of the extendeds included. Also, this is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate with you, I really highly recommend you check out your moon and your rising and your Venus signs. For example, um, I am Gemini Sun. However, I do have a tendency to resonate a lot with Taurus readings because Taurus is my Venus. Um, uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about today was I am going to do uh, a few videos in the future about crystals. This is a selenite one. It sheds, so I have um, paper on it. But this like clears energies on the decks. And so I go through and I clear this. I just got this the other day. I love it so very much. And I'll just like clear my own energy. But I'll do a video about that stuff. And the other day I had asked spirit or God or whatever you want a question. And it was a yes or no question. And I asked to see three owls within 24 hours. And then after the 24 hours happened, I kept seeing the owls even after I had asked for them. And I walked into, and the question was about a Virgo. So I walked into the store and this um, this tarot deck, which this is the cover of the tarot deck. This is what it looks like, but it had um, a box of tarot cards in front of it. So this was all I could see. And so I sat there and I told the owner, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm so drawn to this deck. Like, oh my goodness. I'm like, I'm like very drawn to it. I think it was because of the tech type, rock, tech type rock I picked up. Um, again, I'll put that in one of the videos. And then, um, so I pull it down and there it is. It's an owl sitting on the card and not only the card, but this is the hermit, which is the Virgo. This is Virgo. So I got the owl and Virgo in one. So my answer is like a hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> so cancer, this is your monthly reading. I have found recently that channeling has been very strong. I've had messages like shoot in very strongly this card wants to come out round and round in the recent past <clears throat> between worlds it's right in the middle Near future, serendipity. And what are you not seeing? Regeneration. So I highly recommend you check out the Virgo reading. They got that in the recent past. So if you are dealing with a Virgo, I recommend you check that reading out. I have a lot of Virgos in my life, actually. Lots. My son is a Virgo, <laughs> even. Like, I show him that card and I say, it's you, the old man. He's five. He's like, I'm the old man. <laughs> it's so cute. I have so many Virgos in my life. For cancer you are strength it's a beautiful first card situation the Sun beautiful freaking second card the opportunity five of wands start something yourself recent past ace of wands started something hmm Universe wants you to know four of cups surrounded by love and support how you got here you got here by quickly by coming up with a quick idea by giving voicing your opinion near future 
Seven of Pentacles, how you're being seen. Four of Swords, somebody who is kind of lazy. Near, near future, Five of Swords, like somebody who has a lot of this. You're being seen, hmm. hopes and fears, Ace of Pentacles. You want the new future, but you also um, fear it as well. And the outcome is the moon. Five came out twice, four came out twice. And there, there are two major arcana. What are you not seeing? Eight of Pentacles, damn, death, regeneration. Go check out the Virgo reading. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and King of Swords. Okay, so that's what we will go over in the extended on what you're not seeing. So please clarify the strength. Oh no, you have three major arcana because of the sun. Seven of Wands. You got the lion pulled twice. You are an extremely powerful, strong person. You're very masculine. You're very controlling. You're very much like, you might be overpowering with your, you might be over, what's the word I'm looking for? You might have too strong of a personality for some people. You might be too pushy. Too pushy, too demanding. The situation is the sun. Is to take action, is to change. You, the opportunity is to do something on your own. Ooh. The situation is the sun, three of wands. Something's coming in. Action is coming in. I need one more card. There's somebody that's going to come to you with an idea. No, there's somebody that's going to come speak some truth to you that's really going to open up the things that you want. Which will give you the ability to be able to depend on yourself and support yourself and take care of yourself. It's like it's like you're kind of dependent upon people right now to help yourself but help you, but you're not seeing how strong you really are. Or maybe you are seeing how strong you are and you're trying to just get other people to do the work, which would be why you would be, you're being seen as lazy. You're like doing the same thing over and over again. You're in between worlds right now. It's like you're moving from one thing to the next. And it's not being seen as lazy. It's like, over here you're being seen as lazy, but over here you're being seen as overpowering. Like I'm getting like flakiness. Recent past. There was an opportunity for something to happen. Something came out. The opportunity is to be surrounded by love, is to take action into taking care of yourself. 
this is like a very needy person. Like there is action into like you or someone you're around is extremely needy. You like the, this person that you're dealing with is like, they're either lazy over here or they're like too overbearing over here. Like there's no happy medium with them. Like they're black or white. Like there is no gray with them. There is no, in, there's no middle personality. They're to one extreme or the next. This could be you. This could be somebody you're dealing with. Seven, seven. How you got here? Being harsh. Being harsh with love. By knowing what you want when it comes to love, this is how you got here. So maybe it's not to one extreme or the next, but it is very much you're not, you refuse to settle. And so you've been going in the cycle trying to get things to change, but you haven't changed yourself to be able to change the cycle. Like you very much know what you want or this person you're dealing with knows what you want. And so you're getting to that point where you're doing all of this work so then you can rest. Like you're doing all of this work over here so that you can be lazy over here. Like I'm not like, and I don't mean that in like a negative way. I'm just like, you're doing all of this work in this area over here. So that way you have the ability to rest at a later date. Like this change that's happening. You have somebody coming in. So in the near future, seven of pentacles. There's a releasing This change, you're releasing. Releasing childish perspectives. You're making a choice. So like people are over here like, oh, this person's lazy over here, but you didn't see all of the stuff they did over in this area. In this, there be these people are like, well, you're like too much, too much, too much over here. And it's like, because I was able to rest in this, have, have this balance of like full energy of resting. This is a choice. This is the choice that you actually made of how to run your life. Like this is how you live. Like you bounce between worlds all the time. Like this is you and it's, there are some people that can handle it and there are some people that can't. And it's like, you're learning how to, so over here with like the full energy, you're learning how to control that and you're going back into yourself and you're depending more on yourself when it comes to this area. And then the same goes for over here. So you're going into yourself, but you're not being, you're seeing and reflecting how much you're not doing in this area, this part of your life. You have, you have this like childlike attribute that's really beautiful and like carefree and loving and genuine and kind, but it's like, it controls too much of your life and it's I shouldn't say that it doesn't control too much of your life it controls too much of your emotions and what I mean by that is like being too sensitive in the near near future ooh, the devil the world this cycle this regeneration that's happening there, you have to go through some pain to be able, this is causing you pain, the cycle that is continuing over and over and over again. It's like, you're here and you're here. Like there's no 
other, there's no diversity in your life. It's one thing or the other. And it's coming to an end. Like this pain, this is very painful. There is action that is changing. Like you want more. You don't just want this one area. Like, and you have to be this way because you're this, this way over here. And you have to be this way because you're this way over here. It's like you have to rest and you have to relax because you're so much over here. And it's like, like you're not getting help or you feel like you're not getting help. And that's exactly why the devil came out because it's too much, too much here, too much here. Like you have to regenerate. You have to be able to rest when you're here, but take action over here. Like there has to be a balance and like, there is no balance. It's like, you can literally see in the reading, like half over here is like way too much action, way too much masculine energy. And then over here, it's like way too feminine, way too much not working, you know, sitting back. It's like there needs to be pain. Like there needs to be. There needs to be pain before there's change. Like something has to end. Something has to die before there's change. And like that's exactly what's happening. Is like this situation, this activity, this direction, what you've been doing, this imbalance that you've been doing, the juggle of back and forth. And you want it, but you also fear it. You're afraid. You really need to check out the Virgo reading because, like, this is the Virgo card that came out. You're afraid of this relationship. You're afraid of... There's a lot of that Virgo energy that's interesting. There's like the so much of the Virgo reading is in this. Structure. Not moving, not going anywhere, not doing anything. You're afraid that this change will make it so that you can do even less. The outcome is the moon, the four of pentacles, the lovers, and the six of cups. So that's six and six, and then six over here. And technically the devil is six as well. So I'm seeing... You're, you're not seeing things clearly on how well you could do by yourself. Like... this connection you're not seeing like how this connection you're only seeing this connection or this from one side you're not seeing it from the other side you need to look from above and look down on the situation and see what's going to benefit you, what's going to benefit your kids, what's going to benefit your spouse or, you know, the people in your life. It's like, like you want to live a life where you don't have to do too much. You want that. You don't like this like hostile over here. You want things prepared so that way you can sit back in luxury and be comfortable and everything. And I totally understand that, but you have to find some sort of balance. Like you really want luxury. You want someone to take care of you. You want someone, you know, and take care of them, but you want to be like a stay at home mom or you want to be like a, you know, somebody who's very comfortable that doesn't have to work so hard. That's exactly what it is. You want to be comfortable and not have to work so hard. And you have it in you. You have that ability, but you have to find that balance outside of it. 
Like this is something like you've dreamed of. You've dreamed of this type of love your entire life, but it's an illusion. Like you're not seeing the situation that you're in right now. So this is what I have for you, Cancer. I have, I'm going to go over a timeline, what you're not seeing, blockages, and advice in your extended. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, and share button. And I will, if you're a member of Patreon, the video will continue. And if you would like the extended, the link is below. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, Cancer.